almost done with the basic anatomy of the respiratory system. Here, we're gonna zoom in to the respiratory membrane. This is different than the respiratory mucosa. The respiratory mucosa is that pseudostratified columnar epithelium that lines the nasal cavity, larynx, part of the pharynx, and trachea and bronchioles um, that produces all that mucus, has its cilia, that's the respiratory mucosa. The respiratory membrane refers to the junction of alveoli and capillaries where diffusion occurs. So diffusion is going to occur at the respiratory membrane to allow gases to go across. So it's gonna be thin. So let's zoom in to first, um, well, right here, but we're gonna focus on the alveoli. So here is alveolus, alveoli is plural. Here is one right here, right, one alveolus. And it is made up of simple squamous epithelium, as you already know, right? We went through the histology of the respiratory tract already. The cells that make this up are simple squamous epithelial cells, but of course they have other names as well. So there's type one and type two alveolar cells. Type one is your basic epithelial cell. It's the majority of these cells are type one. So let's add some more arrows to all these guys here. Um, type two are not as common. So here is a type two, here is a type two, these cells are going to secrete surfactant. Um, surfactant is a detergent-like molecule that's going to be important for lung function, so we'll come back to it. This is produced in the alveoli themselves by the cells that line, some of the cells that line the alveoli. Other features here, right, this is an air-filled sac that the air is refreshed from the environment and the atmosphere all the time. We'll get into pulmonary ventilation the exchange of those gases from the atmosphere later. Um, what happens to the alveoli, this whole purpose of this respiratory membrane for uh, allow for gas diffusion, a high surface area, is for gases to cross into the bloodstream and back. So let's zoom into this right here. This is going to be called external respiration because we are going from the external environment, diffusion into the bloodstream. So here we are zoomed in. This is a type one alveolar cell. There would be another cell next to it, right? So you should be able to visualize. This is one membrane, here's another membrane. Why do we have these simple squamous cells? Here, I'm gonna draw the same thing. It's shown down there. Here's the alveoli. So simple squamous alveolar tissue, the alveolar epithelium. Then adjacent to that, we're gonna have the capillary endothelium. So here is the inside of the capillary. Here are the cells, the simple squamous epithelial cells that make up the endothelium of the capillary, right? So we've, we've talked about that. The capillaries are just a thin layer of tunica intima. That's what they are. So here they are, draw them like this. In between those two thin layers of cells, there is a thin basement membrane that fuses these two epithelial layers together. Um, so it's extracellular matrix, stuff, um, glycoproteins, stuff, stuff in these two things together. So this is the respiratory membrane where we would have gases pass um, across as easily as you can have gases pass across cells, simple squamous. There's four membranes, but they're all, the cells themselves are very thin. This is our respiratory membrane. It's gonna look, um, 
no, we'll get to that later. So this is external respiration going from the alveoli to the bloodstream in the pulmonary circulation, right? The pulmonary circuit is this right here. 